bunker. Let's meet the starting goaltender. Brought to you by ADT. Always there. Well, the Brampton Battalion, a little bit of a surprise. No surprise, Michael Zador is getting the start in Oshawa. He's played a lot for the Generals since coming over in the big John Tavares deal. Decent numbers, not great, but Chris DePiro happy with the way he's playing. And Thomas McCollum has had nothing but work for Brampton. Surprise, though, Patrick Colleen gets a start. Well, Rob, he's played 30 games, played a lot for this team, and has won his last four starts. Let's meet the officials who will call this game. The referees are Sean Reed and Michael Marley. And the linesmen, Andrew Hubbard and Matthew Traub. Battalion in their familiar green fatigues and the Oshawa Generals in their white unis with the red and blue trim. This game is underway. Back to the line, Kim Peroff is there to Shane Peroff once again. He fires, there's a save by Zador. Another shot by Gratchev, hit a body. And there's an injured general on the ice and that's not good news, that's Tony DeHart, they score! Well, DeHart was riding on the ice the battalion did the job and gets the power play goal. And it was really a two-man advantage there, Rob, unfortunately, because the hard who is really in some pain, Ryan Boys, the athletic therapist to the generals out there to help him out. But the battalion just threw that puck around. The heart goes down and then the puck goes in. Let's watch this play develop. Look at the heart takes it. He's hurt clearly. However, the referee's not going to blow it because the play is still in Oshawa territory. It's still a scoring chance. That's the rule. Proper call. And then one, two, three. Hodgson finishes it up. The door got a piece of that shot, but that was it from behind the net. And the battalion really taking advantage of a two-man advantage there. Hodgson banking it off the door. And the home side up, one nothing. Peluso and DeShane should get assists on that. But while DeHart couldn't even get himself vertical, in fact, he's still horizontal. Finally, gets up. Not putting any pressure on his left leg. He took a shot full flush there, and that obviously is the reason for the injury. We'll take a look at it again. Right in front, shot coming from the point. Wind up right through. Now watch the heart. Takes the brunt of that, and down he goes. And as you said, Rob, only got up. Left to play in the power play for Brampton. They've got one power play goal. And working now, there's Duchesne. Back to Day at the point. He winds up and score! That was either Day or King got a piece of it. And it's 2-0 very quickly. Definitely hit something on the way of the goal. And that's definitely very quickly. The battalion strike just 18 seconds into this period all the generals survived the first period but they do not survive the brampton power play let's watch zador plays it off the boards can't get it out kept in now the shot from the point obviously hit something as the battalion throw it around wind up fired we got it have another look there's day with the shot hit something in front i think kang was there he may get credit we'll see another look at it either way Glass, that took a funny bounce as Valentine cleared the zone. Generals content to jump it in, and we've got two guys squaring off now for the battalion. It is Stefan Thorne in the 18 is Connor Stokes for Generals. Boy, Stokes was squaring off like he was a professional boxer, but he takes a couple of blows in this fight and will not win this decision despite the fact that he started off in that Sunny lifting pose from back in the day, but a decisive win there for Thorne. And this led a little bit of an elbow here, hit by the Stokes delivered. You can see that. Let's have a look at this here, how high this elbow is up. Well, it turned around a little bit, and clearly he took a number immediately. Around Perrock. And Now Brown. Shot goes! Squeezes through Brown with the generals on the board as Colleen couldn't control. Bad angle for Brown to shoot from, but he did find some space and actually it looked like he put it right through Patrick Colleen. And what a big goal for the Oshawa Generals. Just their sixth shot on goal of the game, and Jeff Brown has his 11th goal. He gets passed in by the defense. Now watch him along the boards here. Andreoff gets it to him. Face off circle. Not a great spot. Oh. And Colleen wishes he had that one back. Brown shot goes through, and yeah, they're squeezed through some extra real estate that Colleen did not squeeze those pads tightly enough. Clark throws it around. Oh, getting hit there. Nice punch by Calvin 
Gohan as Tansky had his head down. There's a chance. Back up scores! Picks the corner. And it's a 3 1 battalion lead. Our girls were a little guilty of watching that hit as Tansky went down in a heap, lost his helmet. He wanted to respond to the hit, but he had to leave the ice immediately because he didn't have a helmet on. That left some open room for Grachev, and that is deadly. Anytime he gets any open space, he makes you pay, and he does here. And watch a play develop. There's the hit against the boards. Off goes the helmet of Tansky. Look at the general standing around looking. And then back the other way, Grachev has some extra room, and he makes no mistake with a high wrist shot. Thomas is there from the corner. Parnum, five seconds left. Battalion, scoop it up, comes to the side of the net. Colleen made one save, didn't know he made it. And time will run out to scramble in front of the battalion goal. Not enough, though, for the Oshawa Generals. Well, the Generals get a bit of a moral victory, at least, especially the way they played in that third period. They finally got some shots, 13 at Patrick Colleen, and made them work in that last 30 seconds with the goalie out for an extra man, but just not enough offense to compete with this Brampton team. Their power play struck early, they took the lead early, and they made it hold up, and the battalion continued to win at home, and the Generals continue to lose home and away right now, just one win in their last 11 games. 32-20, the final shots. Oshawa came up with a 13-11 shot total in the third period. We'll come back with more from Brampton. Battalion win, 3-1 over the Generals.